expect it. It's your time to drive. Good All right. Thanks, Jim. All right. Thank you. All right. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Yes, ma'am. So what I was thinking is probably the best thing for us to do. I mean, I can give you, I'll give you like an overview, but probably the best What's way. What's my job again? <laughs> You're in charge. Oh, okay. So probably the best way for you to learn, I think, is if yes, we um, maybe go talk to some chamber members today. Okay. And that's too tight of a spot. You're not going to fit in there. What are you trying to, are, <laughs> is that a weight joke? <laughs> no, it's not a weight joke. Um, so... They're busy this morning. They are. All right. I, well, I'm here because I want some coffee. Okay. All this right. is a lot to take in. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold this on. Hold on. a lot to take hold in. Hold on. Hold on. Nothing. What? I told you. What are you it's doing? It's fun. Oh, oh, my God. Stop. 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 Please take your order. I'm going to bring you. Just, just pull up to number one. I'm going to bring you out your coffee. Okay. All right. Okay? All right. And also, I need to go somewhere. I have to go to another McDonald's. Can you guys drive me over there? Please. Really? Yeah, my, I just, my car's messed up. I need a ride. All right, fine. All right. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys just driving around? We're going to well, go see chamber members. So you, you're a chamber member. I am a chamber member. So we're starting with Scott. Yeah. Awesome. But you ask a lot of questions. I you do. You just need to hold on. Yeah, just, just hold a minute. On. No, just, yeah. Just a minute. So we're going, we're going to go see chamber members because Beck is taking over his chair. I, I heard. This nice. Year. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. And so I thought the best way for her to like learn about the chamber, because this is our 25th year anniversary. Really? Yeah. So as a countywide chamber, yep. So, wait a minute. So 25 years. So that was what, like 91? Yeah. Yes. Wow. I was yeah. seven in 1991. Scott, oh, shut just up. be quiet. <laughs> Someday somebody's going to make you want to turn around and say goodbye. Till then, baby. Are you really going to turn around and make you cry? Don't you know? Don't you know? Things will change. Things will go your way. If you hold on for one more day. If you hold on for one more day, things will go your way. Hold on for one more day. So I have my next guests in the car, Chad Hoffman and Susan Jepson. So I'm going to make sure we get on the road safely. There's actually traffic on here. A little bit. And uh, as I've said with Susan Reynolds towing, um, if we get in trouble, I got someone to call. Get us out of the car. And we're safe. So we're going to talk about um, the local purchasing program, right? Am I saying that right? It's the local purchasing challenge, where All we're right. challenging local businesses to reinvest their dollars in other local businesses. Gotcha. Susan, what's your part in the local purchasing so, challenge? Yeah. We were approached, and I looked more closely at our expenses. And I realized that we were using some online supplies that we could be purchasing locally. Mm -hmm. And it's very important to Reynolds Towing for businesses to use our business because we're locally owned. So I wanted to do the same. Yeah. Last year the program was about at a $59,000 pledge and we actually brought in $120,000 wow. at the end of the year. And this year we already have $67,000 pledged just through three months. So I, I think we'll easily surpass last year's figure and go from there. So we're excited about so what am I bring? Uh, so these said businesses are saving money. Yeah, businesses are it's, it's so they can look at what you can do and, and keep it local. I like it. So they can take the money and run. Go on, take the money and run. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's not the ooh, ooh part. Take Chad, you're supposed run. to know these things. Yeah, I <laughs> barely know this song. Take the money and run. It was, not, it was not on our list of approved songs. So. Come on, take the money and run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Best favorite part. Just a little. So backseat. welcome to the chamber carpool karaoke. Thank you, Becky. Thanks You're for welcome. Having us. So John. Yes. Tanya. Yes. Oh my gosh, I already forgot your name. Patty. Patty. <laughs> and I knew the significance of Patty because Patty was the very first small business of the year award winner. Oh my gosh, I know that. It's what I what I'm told. And From Tanya. Wow. Tanya's been a. Uh, small business of the yeah, year winner just, just last year Sweet. and john's been instrumental in helping small businesses in the chamber so we're going to talk about small business and you know i kind of want to know you know you guys can or gals can walk me through that moment you know was it like the miss america moment where you were like oh, i won i won or um you know what did it mean to win small business of the year through the chamber 
well, as the, I guess as the first recipient, yeah. um, DSC really values the chamber relationship and I think the Small Business of the Year was an opportunity to kind of uh, get your name out there. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of businesses that are familiar with you because of your involvement with the chamber. And I think for Rogards it was just a really big deal because most of our business is business to business. So, you know, when you get an award from the business community that tells you you're doing a good job, that's an award that came straight from your customers. So I think for Rogards that that was what really meant a lot to us is it really felt like it came from our customers. And your peers. And our uh, peers. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're a part of something that's helping small businesses uh, thrive in our community mm -hmm. uh, with the chamber. You do just a little gardening. A little gardening. You're out there like planting some beans. Yeah. And so this, uh, this economic uh, gardening uh, situation, it's new, not a situation, this deal is new. Basically, it's uh, providing access to companies who are, who are established, wanting to grow. So the economic gardening is going to allow us to do that. And basically, they're giving us access to data miners, uh, people who can come in and uh, research uh, our competition, research trends in, in our industry, uh, research, um, you know, where we potentially can go in comparison to what other companies throughout the country have done. Because what is, what's the statistic? 85% of the businesses in our community are classified as small business. It's lifeblood of the community. Yeah. It is. It is. Back to our conversation about 85% small business. And, you know, sometimes people don't want to be a big business. They like being a family business. And it's okay to be little bitty, isn't it? It is okay to be a little bitty. It's all right to be a little bitty. Little hometown or a big old city. Might as well share, might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. I like Gary. <laughs> hey, is there a cowgirl hat back there? <laughs> I didn't see one. <laughs> Job and a little bitty check. Six pack of beer and a television set. Little bitty world goes around and around. Little bit of silence and a little bit of sound. You know, I, th I think being a part of the chamber, either being like these ladies, the small business of the year, or yourself being the board chair or being a past board chair, gives you appreciation for what the chamber can do for mm -hmm. the community. Whoa, that's some bad words. <laughs> that's right. Oh. This is a car full of ladies. Oh, yeah. That's right. Girls who run the world. 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 This is a car full of power. Let me Whoa. tell you. Yeah. 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 winners. We got leading ladies. We've got Ace, we've got participants hiding in the back. <laughs> uh, we'll the the oh, fun, fun, fun. So, so many of you in here have been Athena winners. Yes. So, and I think Athena is with us today. Is yes, she? she is. Yes. Oh, hello, so, Athena. Athena. Thank you. in your professional absolutely. career. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. 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 But that's, that's the most important thing about it, Becky, is that it's not really about us, but it's just about honoring a woman who's contributed to the community and has given back to the community and has been a mentor to other women. So that's a big a part of when you can to Athena. Do you feel, you know, mentoring is another big thing we're starting to do with the chamber, with the women to women. So, um, you know, we kind of talk about that. It's really important for, I think, the young women in our community, like you, to see those of us, I will say, who have been in our careers for That's a while. That's such a kind way of saying the old ladies. Right? I know. I'm like, like, oh my gosh. No. So wise. Yeah, right. the wise. I like wise. I think some of the lessons that we've learned and things that we've overcome, still in this day and age, it's really important to pass that along and make sure that other women have every opportunity to be successful that they can. Yeah. yeah, we want those leading ladies right here right. in our community. Getting what about ACE though? Tell me about that because that's new to me. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, really? I, well, I know they do it. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, did you do it? No, I did it. Ah, because so we I, send someone through it every year. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I am immensely grateful to my employer um, for sending me and sponsoring me, and they support several employees every year um, <laughs> to go through the leadership program, and it's fantastic. I mean, it was so great to kind of develop a baseline of leadership skills. It was a 10-week intensive course. It's 10 weeks? Like, 10 how weeks often? Every once single week. week. It was like three hours oh my gosh, know, once that's... a week for 10 weeks. And it was great. Um, Everything that you guys are talking about reminds me of another song. Because there's something, oh, there's there's something, something. There's something that you what? have all earned in this community for what you do. And it's called a little bit of respect. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need. All of you have had the uh, the benefit of having a PAC endorsement, so that's kind of what we're talking about. So if anybody wants to talk about PAC and what that is and what it's meant to you. No, I think for me, the uh, PAC was, uh, the PAC's endorsement was uh, meaningful and kind of opened up conversations and pathways into certain areas of the community that I hadn't uh, been able or hadn't been fortunate enough to make yet. One of the things I like about the PAC and the Chamber combined is that you have experts in lots of different areas. And so if you have an issue that comes before you, there are, you know, are business people and professionals in, in different areas that you can reach out to and get information from and help you make those decisions. So you've been part of Champaign County first. I have been. And uh, we've done some trips to D.C. We have. We've we had some, some fun some trips you to D.C. You all yeah. need to go. It's fun. But it, the best fun. part about that is we're, we're looking at the community as a whole. So it gets mm -hmm. everybody working together and getting to know each other. And one of the uh, benefits of that or one of the topics on that trip is Amtrak. It is. And uh, trying to get another train. And we'd like to have another train. We've worked hard and we are an Amtrak served community and the chamber has worked hard to try to connect us with other Amtrak communities so that we are a strong, a stronger lobbying voice. Good morning America, how are you? It's a little hard to say, don't you know me? I'm your native son. Are you reading the I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles And as a PAC for us, as a running for the office, it was a path to over 1,100 employers, businesses in our town, and over 60,000 employees. So it's, it's a strong base of our community to align interests with our school district. One of the cool things about the PAC is not just that it gets involved with candidates like us, but that it's a great way for the chamber to leverage its members and its relationships with businesses around the community and they, and they get involved in so many things like the Fair Maps Amendment where the chamber membership directly worked together over 20,000 signatures to put a you know a crucial piece of government reform to try to put it on the ballot so that voters could have a voice on it. So their advocacy is not just involved with candidates but on issues and lobbying our local governments and in education in so many different areas. Well, we can't say we can't find the flag. Schools out for summer. Schools out forever. 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 Schools been blown to pieces. It'll be great. We'll support you. Did they tell you that when they said run for mayor yeah. too? Yeah, it'll be right. great. It'll be great. It'll be fun. It has been great. You know, the four of us here are kind of representative of, of for me, what has been great about it, the, yep. the conversations and the willingness. And, or it, get an um, instant yard sign put up. There you go, <laughs> an instant yard sign put up. Yeah. Chris that, is great at that. that. I think the chamber's part of that, that uh, growing that sphere of influence and just makes it all that much bigger. Make you feel like yeah. you're not alone when you're doing yeah. public service. Relationship Absolutely. building. You have a relationship and a friendship. 
So, Jerry, tell me about SCORE and what, what you've done to be involved with SCORE. Well, SCORE's been around for a long time, and they help um, small businesses either take it to the next level, start up, a variety of things. Um, excited to be part of it and, and help local businesses grow and prosper. And, you know, the Chamber's really done a great job of helping them kind of take it to the next level. And from a local standpoint, last year, SCORE helped uh, start seven new businesses, created over wow. 80 jobs. And the last three years, they've created well over 500 jobs. So that's a real boost to the local economy. Yeah. So it sounds like you guys do a lot of help. Mm -hmm. We do do a lot of help. Uh, I need somebody help, not just anybody help. You know I need someone help. Well, thank you, SCORE people. <laughs> thanks, Chamber, for all you do for SCORE. Yeah, right. thanks for having us. Absolutely. Oh, we missed that good part. Woo! <laughs> <sighs> that has been fun. It was fun. Don't turn that car. Look at your backseat driver. It was fun. And uh, everyone did a good job. And I feel like I know a lot more about everything that you're doing in the chamber. And, and all these people, they were like the wind beneath your wings. They were. Lifting you up. They were. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You should probably stay focused on the street. And everything I wish I could be. I can fly.